All right, I'm back. And made some changes to my character setup. Because I found that staffy waffy. And so, pretty good staff. I've had it before. It's pretty good with a fire bat's build. Uh, it won't be good for very long, though, because it's only 14th level. So, I'll use it up for as long as I can. Changed my skills around. I got my fire bats as my main attack. But I'm probably going to be running out of mana left and right. So, when I do, I'll just fall back on corpse spiders. Should I find and some more tire? These old things are becoming so small. This is going to give me mana. This is going to hopefully save me once in a while. And I changed over my passive skill to also give me just a little bit more mana. Let's try a Nephilim Rift. So I've spent spent some time, got up to 16th level, just doing some stuff now. Some people don't recommend doing the Field of Misery and those types of things. They say, just Rift. Just go and do your Rifts. I don't think I can do a greater one. you got to be 70th level to do a greater one. So we'll just do a lesser one and see how it goes. Give it a try. Are you ready? Then your trial begins. Prophet would be pleased. Vigilante, not great, but better than the one that I've got. Haven't run out of mana yet, so. My cast on you. Possible I didn't run out just because it's so overpowered at the moment. But as I go up in level. It's gonna get less and less powerful. Compared to the, compared to the creatures I fight.
Maybe Well, possible it might be, rifts might be better just simply for the items that you get. <laughs> Thorns damage. Other thing I meant should have mentioned too, I fuck that is that the the guy other guy finally started selling some rings, some good rings. I just bought these two just and an amulet. Not nothing great, but not bad either. your heart. was gonna put this in my queue but I'm there's no point in me doing it till I get a uh, a gem worth putting in the queue <laughs> damage but could probably give it to her a gift a gift thank you you're welcome
gargantuan. enemies in places pulled from the deepest corners of their memories. Ours is a race of great power, but we are nothing unless we temper it with skill. If you are to achieve your birthright, then conquer the rifts and take your rightful place among us. So here's where we can start to definitely gonna put this into my helm, but not necessarily this helm. I'm gonna put this into my cube. My booby cubey. Uh, first let me uh, Don't be shy. Perfect, let's uh let's maybe I can get an even better helm. I've seen better. Well, it's a good paperweight. Well, it's a good paperweight. Oh, wow. Okay. That one's definitely better than the one I got. The ability isn't. There's no ability to it, but it's already got a socket in it. Right, let's break down these things. Salvage and the effect. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. I am returning to town. Well, I don't know about gaining levels per se, but Finding items definitely is better in the Nephilim Rift. Alright, so I'm gonna go put Leoric's crown in my cube. I'm gonna extract the legendary power. And had I not done that challenge rift, I wouldn't have any of this stuff. I would have had to go get bounties and stuff, so that's probably the primary benefit of that having done that challenge rift not to mention the money and leveling up all your guys yes, I see. okay and so now I'm going to activate it and now any gem I put into any helm I'm wearing is going to be doubled in powers so this is going to give me 10% but since I get the Q, the Leoric's crown now it's 20% Let's see if it shows it on here 20% so now I got 20% increase 
Your trial is complete. I got another one of these. Go back to that one. Excellent. So I don't know, maybe the Nephilim Rifts are the best way to go about doing it. Let's go back to the Fields of Misery just for a few minutes and see... Problem is that they're dying too fast. I strike at your heart. get any items really but just gained a whole bunch of levels there probably the best way to go all right i'll be right back 